yes hello everyone welcome to our next affirmative video tutorial now for today's episode guys i'm gonna show you how to configure your zeus's camera system or surveillance camera system so that the app will work on your android smartphone and uh, that will give you the ability to of course access your system from anywhere across the world now of course your system up and running guys the first thing that you need to do now is to of course most definitely get it connected to your network so this is my system so around the back of it you must ensure that you connect a ethernet cable that of course run from your router that will ensure that the system is connected to the internet so once you plug that cable into the system now it is now time to do the configuration on the system itself so of course once it is up and running the first thing for you to do is to right click on the mouse then you will go down to main menu once you are in main menu then go to settings then choose network right so this is the network section now in terms of the ip address you have two ways to do it you can click and you can untick it when you untick it that simply means that it will give it a static ip and then you would enter the static ip but you can also allow it to be automatic mine i mean mine being um, automatic so that simply means that the router will give it the ip address automatically once you have done that you just simply need to click test and once you see ok that simply means that it is ok so it basically is communicating with the router and the internet now if you are doing it for the first time you would simply click apply right so as you can see it has successfully configured and once you click apply and I tell that it is successful then the second thing is for you to just click test and once you click test to show to you to show you that it is up and running you will see ok once you have done that then you can click the back arrow go right back then go to information then go to system now this guys this information is very important this one that said device id you need to write it down so you need to write down the device i um id so please ensure that you remember to write down that the next thing that you can go to is same place in information click on network right and it will show you the status so that mine is showing that it is connected so as you can see cloud server status connected so most definitely it is up and running once you have done all of that guys then the next thing for you to do is to go to your smartphone device which i'm gonna go to my smartphone device now so you're now on your smartphone now the first thing you need to do is to of course go to play store so once you go to the play store then you need to download the app it is known as Zosis View App. So type in it, type it in. So here you go, guys. You can choose the first one there. Once you choose it, then you simply install it. So mine is already installed, so it will be showing open. So once you open it, guys, then it will ask you to register. So for the first time, so you will click on register because I would have already registered mine, right? So this is it, guys. So First, you need to register with a username and of course a password and the username is what you will use to log in into the application once you're going to open the application on several devices. So let's say for example, you want to give your aunt or your father or just some close relative access to the system, then they will need that username and that password once they would have downloaded the application on their smartphone so yes guys i would have already registered mine so i just want to log in into mine so once you register it so presently i'm logged into mine and most definitely mine will be up and running but i'm going to show you 
how to configure it once you would have registered registered here so once you're logged in the next thing for you to do is to go to device manager as you can see mine already there so if you want to add a device to it just simply click on the plus button guys and this is where you're at the device you'll give the device a, a name so you can name it home security that's what you'd give us the name now the one that said device um id that's the same id that i would have shown you earlier on in the video where i said that you would go to um information then go to system right so the device id you're gonna type the device id exactly in here um the username will be admin or if it, it, it will be the same username for the security system so when i just turn on the security system it will give you a username generally or the default one is admin and the password of course will be the password that you would have entered into your um, security system so again guys um the device id is that one that i would have shown you earlier on in the video as for the admin now or the username i should say that would be the username that you would have used on your device and also that same password once you have entered those two information then you just simply click add device so once you click add device guys and you want to access the device when you just turn on your system that exists mine so open it so you'd go to device manager for example so here's my device i tap on it now you want to view a camera just simple tap on number one there because it show you the different channels so it is now attempting to load um this camera here right so as you can see it is now up and running so it is basically um simple as that guys so that's how you get it up and running on your smartphone if you want to give somebody else access to it it's just simple tell them to download the application and it would just simply give them the username and um password to log into it so once again guys um if you're new to the channel please remember to click on the subscription button leave your comments in the comment section and of course share the video so once again guys um thanks again femitech is out of here